Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. <laughs> it's your boy, Brian J. Gower. <laughs> With me what? today, we got... Is this how we're doing it? Us, uh, Kyle McIntyre. It's I'm your here. international superstar, John. <laughs> Two guns. J2G. What up? Uh, we got the homistic <laughs> shooter. We have Tone Jerks That's Podcast right. here. I'm trying to get the energy up, right? Yeah. Woo, go, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Yay. You're like, I'm like... <laughs> A long day at work, and we're recording a little later, so I'm trying to keep the energy up. Come on. Yeah. So right. I still got one more day left to work, so. Yeah. All right, uh, Kyle, what's new in your world? What's shaking? What is grooving? What is good? I'm glad you asked, because I prepared myself for this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we talked about um, the pedal I bought you for your birthday. Yeah. And I've already played it, so I played it through bass, and that was kind of cool. Played it uh, in the last rehearsal that we did. It's the walrus is it, ages. I, I can talk. I'm like, okay. you, I'm like, you're saying it all. I'm like, what yeah, is it? It's trying to be secretive. <laughs> so I'm a dick and I haven't listened to any of the episodes lately. That's fine. I don't even know. This is news to me. We don't even know who you are. No, I know. I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We don't, you got your beard back. You know, mm-hmm. Johnny got his beard back. Wait, save it for my what's new. <laughs> oh, shit. That's my what's new. Damn it. <laughs> that's, that, that's all. <laughs> oh, my, my, my hair's just, growing again. How Johnny got his beard back? <laughs> yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I was going for. <laughs> I'm old enough to be your beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I played it. It's uh, I, I still have to dial it in, but it, it is moving in the right direction, I think. Mm-hmm. What's cool is the... Um, Westwood was like one sound, I guess, and these this has like five. So mm-hmm. I gotta just find where the groove is. How Kyle got his groove in there? Yeah, and the <laughs> same joke again, <laughs> but way worse. Yeah, <laughs> see if you can just like <laughs> ham, like you just like <laughs> I look, I look at you guys for uh, <laughs> verification. Yeah. You guys get that? It's a half court shot. Yeah. Just brick it <laughs> right into the window of the Yay. neighbor's yard. Hit some photographer in his face. <laughs> I still smash the glass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so but, yeah, it, it it was cool. Um, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. The cool thing about it is it has the blend knobs. So I'm like, oh, that'd be great for bass or whatever. Yeah. It has more options, which is different than the Westwood that was mm-hmm. on there. We didn't do enough research to know what it's actually based on, but yeah, you were saying Tube Screamer. I was I saying thought it was. I kind of just gave up and was just like, no, nah, it's a drive. Yeah, it's a big muff. Throw it in the Fuck. trash. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking $200 pedal. <laughs> fucking throw in the trash. But no, I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. You played like, it with your guitar, right? Yeah, no, as far as guitar, and I was like, I said, said that in a shitty way. I'm like, I didn't have a problem with your bass tone, Kyle. You need to I didn't pass have a it problem. by me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for asking. No, I, th- I thought it sounded good. But you, did you have any, like, you know, things that were um, lacking in I think that it was... compared to a Westwood? West, West, I think it wasn't Westwood. as pronounced, I guess. Because mm-hmm. it, the West was, was cuts more through the, the sound, through yeah. the mix, I should say. Um, and this was just like riding right on it. Yeah. Which is cool. It still has that, that it, it's holding, it's basically the mortar, you know, holding everything together. Yeah. I guess it's not, it's not, it's like a Tempur-Pedic mattress, you know? <laughs> Don't bother nobody. Don't bother nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, it was there, but it, yeah. I, I liked a little, so I got to dial it in more. And it was kind of like. And I'm it has not, the option too, which is yeah. Nice. yeah. I think I was only on like two, like the second, uh, the second sound, yeah. which is I think still a. Low gain. It's low gain. So I need to get some row gain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe row gain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he needs row gain. No, I don't think sponsor. he'll ever do it. He got enough money to do it. Uh, so yeah, I got a couple more to, to mess with and, but I don't want to put too much distortion on there or not distortion, but drive. Mm-hmm. Cause I noticed like it was picking up like planes flying over. <laughs> like I hear like, <laughs> like whatever devices I could hear it. Like just well, some interference. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You have like three, I guess like kind of, at least at band practice, like sources, stages for your gain. So from the classic, yeah. uh, Ampeg. <laughs> From the uh, Sans amp, and then also the drive pedal that, of your choice. Yeah. So you kind of got to balance all those because, like, if you have too much, too much yeah. gain on the amp, it'll go like, ah! 
<laughs> yeah, like, and a really high pitch. I, like, oh, oh, I found it wasn't doing that with the ages, but it does that with the, the Westwood. With the Westwood, so that might be good. It might be good. But, like I'm, just, or you might it, because you're so used to the Westwood yeah. that it might be like, what this yeah. thing doesn't feed back in a high pitched yeah. way. That's really yeah, not really great fucking sounding. annoying. Yeah, it's having like a really <laughs> cool noise, just like. I'm, ah! I'm used like to someone that. screaming, you know. <laughs> yeah, it just it like it'll do it. Like if I'm if I'm too close to the amp, I thought it was even, like, is that mic feedback? And I was like, oh shit, is that my guitar? I'm like, and I was like, oh, it's a bass. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's cool. I I I dug it. And then um, is that it just was, like a different response? You think or I don't know. Like you're or like you're only getting it from sound, but as far as your pick attack and stuff like that, um, you don't like it. It feels the same. I mean, I think it feels the same in the response, but it just sounds you like put a smoother... me anywhere and I'll be good. <laughs> put me anywhere. Um, put me in, coach. <laughs> I'm ready to play. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It's fine, and I I think um, for our upcoming uh, little show, what mm-hmm. we might be doing. The, oh. the live stream, yeah, yeah. You do one of those, yeah. So, I might put the Westwood back on. I don't know, just to like, just fam- for familiarity mm-hmm. standpoint. Yeah, a familiarity standpoint. Yes, that's the right word. I think. Yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what gear I'm going to use for that show. I was like, oh shit, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, Bring I was it all. Like, you know? <laughs> what were they micing it? Are you uh, going direct? We're, yeah, we're going to be. Sure. You know anything just, about it? We're just going to go out of the sand Zamp. And then I'll be going out of the fractal mm-hmm. just to keep it. I mean, because we have that instead of like, oh, yeah, let's, let's mic the whatever, the amp. So I don't know. The idea is like we're going into a mixer, into like in multiple camera setup to, or maybe possible one camera setup, who knows, to a live stream on Facebook. So wow. it, uh, by, oh, it is going to Facebook. By yeah. the, by, actually, by the time this airs, it will have already happened. Oh, so wow. we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's, it was awesome, guys. So it was, stay I tuned. All the time. It was fucking <laughs> sick, bro. It's just stupid ass joke. And we survived because we're, we're still here. You hear our voices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I I was thinking just the easiest gear possible. So just something for you to hear. So like the, yeah. you know, uh, terror bass and you're like, no, I should bring the Ampeg Classic with I the a sick. <laughs> Yeah, you're on video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta represent. Come on. No one's gonna be there. So I don't have to worry about bloody eardrums. Yeah. So I Just gotta your fucking, own. <laughs> yeah. I gotta fucking show up and look sick. Whereas yeah. I'm just going to show up wearing an anime t-shirt and track pants. I'm like, yeah. Kyle's going to wear his track. leather pants. The flat. Yeah, like, <laughs> Lederhosen and shit. I was going to wear a kilt, but that's a better idea. I was going to wear flip flops and <laughs> yeah. assless chaps. Yeah. You know yeah. all chaps are assless? Technically. You don't just say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds better. They're saying wet but water. Come you on, bro. chapped your assless chaps. Yeah. Don't chap my ass. Um, I guess uh, I got another thing I wasn't uh, planning on. But, uh, I got something for... My birthday from Johnny Ray. Two months ago, birthday. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> we live in different times, man. I might get a birthday present three years down the road for another birthday of that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so I got a uh, a speaking spell. That's right. So you can learn how to read. Yes. Learn how to Thank read. You. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, it is a circuit bent speaking spell. Technically, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's 100%. It's got some crazy yep. switches on it. It's cool. It's uh dude, this thing is heavy as fuck. It's, I don't know what I mean, I'm guessing they all are like that. That's so kids could beat each other with them. Exactly. It's got a handle. <laughs> so you mm-hmm. That's yeah, so you can hold it real good while you beat the other child <laughs> yeah. in daycare in 1985. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's, it's cool, yeah. So It's like uh, a synth kind of Deal, um, right? It's just like a noise maker. Noise glitch, maker. Yeah, noise it generator. really is just yeah. a glitchy sort of noise maker at this point. It definitely is. And I was getting some cool sounds earlier. Way cooler than what I pulled out of it before I brought it to you. <laughs> I was, I was you actually. This kinda... isn't brand new. <laughs> <laughs> you used this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this... my grubby fingers were all over that about oh, a month damn. ago or two months ago when I bought it. Yeah. When... <laughs> oh, dude, this is like the the earliest stamp on here is 1979. 1995, I think, is probably the closer to when this was made. It's a good year. Yeah, maybe. 95 was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, like, yeah, I turned it, 14 I that year. Was. I was seven. And I'm like, yeah, it was a great year. I don't yeah. know. It was probably like... Who knows? Being a fat moron with a bowl cut. And like, yeah, life is sick. <laughs> I was probably still listening to the soundtrack to the Ninja Turtles movie from 1990 <laughs> on a cassette go Walkman. Ninja, go Ninja, that's go. That's... 
two. That's oh, number sorry, two. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. I need to brush up on my I don't think turtle I, power. I, I, yeah, that was on there. Do you are I got you. We're back. We've done this. We talked about this. Yeah, I was like a lego kids i probably had a shitload of legos i'm just like every day from like school i'm like i gotta watch power rangers and fuck up my legos let's go <laughs> dude you had legos i i could never swing that yeah legos and then connects. you had duplos <laughs> no i didn't have anything <laughs> and connects oh. too i i Ooh. could go to friends houses and play steal their <laughs> every time you go to a friend's house you steal a couple legos yeah you just flip, a throw them in your pocket well, it's yeah. not a crime you know yeah, yeah. It's, hey. it's a victimless crime yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like where's my lego oh, i don't know no because my parents my mom had a daycare so it's like you can't have like small parts oh around. right it's like, right it's like, how, what we find in the kids windpipe in the autopsy well we found this fucking lego man yeah <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> found 20 hot dogs <laughs> and <laughs> this lego man so. yeah. this fucker but like tech decks do you have tech decks Oh yeah, I had tech decks. Oh, that was fucking sick. Can't swallow those. I mean, I've tried. You totally. I mean, you, there's the pieces. <laughs> you get the little wheels and yeah. shit. Yeah, that was a cool thing. Customize that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my wheels are worn out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then they had the they had, different color. They had the mini ones, which I liked a lot too. Oh yeah, because your hands are smaller. Tech decks. Which like it's the, already like the, a tiny yeah. little thing. But yeah. then, well, because the, where you just use yeah your your t- two fingers, and then like they had the full hand. Yeah, I stole your bit I, here. I had that one. They had the Why? full hand you, one? <laughs> yeah. The full, like, it was like Dude, hand. Tech. I was a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> I had the you big pencils. Big no, yeah. I had the big pencil container, and I had the big fucking... Like, yeah, the large pencils. Did you the, know they made the, the, the pencil container, like, the little, like, thing that, like... I still have it, by the way. You know how everyone had the little, the the pencil box? Trapper Keeper? No. But yeah. It was, like, yeah, from Pentex pen- or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the one that was, like, bigger. Okay, because everyone had them and I didn't have one. And I was walking through, I don't know, Walmart or something. Mom, I have to have this one. This one's black. Everyone else's is bullshit colors. Yeah. This looks sick. And I was like the coolest kid for like a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> it and was we totally like, worth oh. it. What do you keep in there? Nothing. I didn't buy any pencils Now, what do you keep in there? <laughs> was, oh, I probably should. It's, I probably next still, to the, it's <laughs> in the nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep a, a bag of rocks. It's a bunch of fucking <laughs> so this like, is my self-defense. Slammers and fucking like... <laughs> Slammer. Oh man, I almost spit my beer out. <laughs> <laughs> Just hogs and slammers. That's and my self defense yeah, weapon. Got, fucking it's a Tamagotchi oh, shit. and nerds. He's got, he's he's got, got a, a brass of, dragon like, on that one. That one's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> oh, Pixie sticks that he opened with yeah. forgotten, so they just spread all over the place. He, he, he bit it down to reseal it. <laughs> yeah, oh, with your <laughs> saliva. Yeah, that's, all, that's all he has in there. He got a tom- and, then, and a Tamagotchi that and then he's is got almost got, dead. Batteries are dead. He's got a random pennies in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you're a the, kid. So you the say smashed like, pennies, the the souvenir <laughs> yeah. pennies, track ones or yeah. The, yeah, the ones from tourist traps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a line on it. My it's mom, worth something. My mom's big on those. She loves those smashed <laughs> pennies, like the like the tourist <laughs> trap one. Oh my god, <laughs> just, she has a shit ton of them. She's like, this is great. I'm like, this is the best thing in the world. I'm like, <laughs> okay, Cut. yeah, it's a fifty one cent investment. I, yeah, <laughs> she has a bunch. Yeah, so this is this is great. I used to put them on the railroad tracks, and uh, when I lived, I had like a short short stint in Louisiana, where yeah. like a right on the track. So it was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wrong side there. of the tracks. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> the train just derails. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> run! What a fragile piece of equipment. <laughs> no, yeah, it was cool. You put them on there, and then just let it run it over. Yeah, just let it ride. It, was, it wasn't that cool. It was the only thing to do, by yeah. the way. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Go hunt guys. So anyways, this is like a Patreon episode. Yeah, damn. Okay, it we really need is. to... So anyways, uh, yeah, I got this uh, speaking spell. Dude, I, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. I might have to record some shit with it. Um, I think I need to get... Uh, was it the speaking math? Was that what it said? There's a, I have a speaking read and a speaking math at home somewhere. What's a speaking read? What's the difference? Uh, it actually says words? I think it's words. Shit. It's been like, I want to say 15 years since I really dove into that thing. Damn. So we should get that thing to read the Patreon names. You, yeah. <laughs> Not this one. I don't think this one will. Because it only no, spells no, it only does letters. And I, I highly doubt that the read will say names. Oh, Because, you know, it's not like they would program. It's primitive technology here. This is from the 1980s. Yeah. They didn't know names back then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so that, that's my what's new. All right, Johnny, 
uh, what's new in your world? What's Besides shaking, what's you grooving? giving me this awesome uh, present. <laughs> Thanks, that's instead, true. Instead of give, bringing gifts. That's true, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the reason I'm here. Actually, we were, yeah, it was like impromptu. Yeah, you, like, yeah we you were texted. texting and I was like, hey, I got stuff for you guys because I really wanted Fuck it. Fuck off, Johnny, we're recording. Oh, you're recording? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll come up. <laughs> yeah. I actually did get here quick, which is yeah, weird. I, I was like, guys, like, how four, are you here already? <laughs> like four wheel drive, just like, I did, just rolling over. Drove <laughs> over a mountain. <laughs> yeah. Ran up the side of a boulder in the truck. Yeah. <clears throat> God, uh, my, my truck twisted ankle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, the new truck is pretty awesome. Uh, that, I mean, that's a big part of my what's new. I, the new truck, just putting a lot more time into it. I haven't been watching, I haven't been listening to podcasts, your your podcast either. Fuck you. Even though yours was the first <laughs> I started listening to and then branched off, I haven't listened to any. Uh, I've been watching YouTube videos on all the mods I can do to the truck and working yeah. on it. And I didn't go to work for the last week because I got super burnt out from working too much. Yeah. I feel but, you on uh, that. Yeah. It, you know, when you're in Preach. an industry where you really, people are depending on you to do stuff, man, right, oh. especially right now, I deal with where people live, yeah. you know, and they're there all the time. So, yeah, I, I've i been working a lot. To uh, take a, you know, Johnny time. I did. I had to take a, I had to take just a random week. Mm-hmm. Every morning I'd wake up and go, nope, not ready yet. But tomorrow is a Friday, and I will You're be like in the oven. Nope. It'll be a satellite <laughs> <Not> day. <already. laughs> it's one satellite work day before the weekend, and then I'll I'll All start right. hitting it hard again next week. He's back in nice. It. Yeah, people are looking for money, and I gotta pay them. Uh, but uh, well, well, I mean, you know, what, what's what's new? Are you doing anything cool in your week? You know? I've had a couple band practices and uh, done some. Oh, I took the kayaks out. That was fun. Really? Where'd I, you go? I got. I have three of them, by the way. So you know, you you guys should come. Can I borrow two of them, uh, two and a half at least. <laughs> two and a half. I'll just chop one. I'll get the yeah, the saws, saws all out and <laughs> chop one in half. It's like fucking rendered useless. Yeah. yeah we, should, we should go out with a squad. Yeah, oh, dude. Shit, uh, yeah, you got your your truck. We should go camping. Go kayaking. Dude. Yeah, it's all. I'm getting all that stuff geared up to be able to do that at a moment's notice. Just go and and be out away because it's just like I just want to get away from buzz and people and stuff going do on. Do a rock weekend. Yeah, get some brews. Yep. Yep. Get on the cruise. <laughs> I might buy a uh, I might buy one of those like Dometic uh, cooler refrigerator things for the I know truck what you're real about. soon. I know yeah. that word. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking. I, I I just I got some plans for the stuff. Yeah. Soon you'll see you some a cool composting toilet too. <laughs> <laughs> nah Churn that shit up I don't want to bring it back home with me Yeah <laughs> Yeah You don't have to No Just hey, dump it somewhere yeah. Just shit in the backyard <laughs> Yeah Dig a hole <laughs> Yeah the dog already does that <laughs> Uh Beard's back And Jesse's uh back <laughs> Yeah I, I thought I had something else What's new But mm, Life just keeps going man <laughs> yeah, that's it, bro. Well, I mean, uh, Matthew McConaughey over here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, just keeps going, <laughs> all man. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. we're, just, we're just cruising, man. <laughs> that's my what's new. Nice, lame. Brian, what is your what's new? Yeah. What's new with you? Uh, let's got a uh, yeah, two two pretty sick ones. So the first, uh, you know, Johnny uh, got me an early birthday gift. By a couple of days. <laughs> By a couple of days. Uh, yeah. So he got me a pedal from Daredevil, the almighty bass. It's like a fuzz kind of dry. It's more like a fuzz distortion pedal. It's real nice. And it's uh, one of the few that I really like that is just like, it just sounds good. Played it at NAMM. Like, I, you know, we're friends with uh, Johnny Water over there at Daredevil. And uh, I've been like, oh, yeah. Really like a lot of his uh, boosts and fuzz for guitar, and then I saw that he has the bass, you know, uh, fuzz pedal, bass distortion, I guess, or whatever, and it just works. And like we played at Nam a bunch, and I like every time we went back to see, you know, uh, Johnny over at Daredevil, I was just like, yeah, let me just grab that bass and try that again. Let me just try that again. And then you're talking to him about it, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I wanted to make a fuzz like pedal that works in a band. Yeah, which is like Daredevil's whole thing is like I don't want to make pedals that don't work for a, a band because it's like yeah. why why make something that like oh that sounds great in my bedroom cool <laughs> yeah all right yeah, no one's gonna hear that and then it's like everybody's like oh that sounds so sick you get on stage <sighs> you can't hear <laughs> anything and then 
So I thought that was, it's always a really cool approach with Daredevil. And then because he plays in a three piece band, they're kind of that yeah. fuzzy garage, rocky, you know, rock band. Rocky. Yeah. Definitely just like a rock, mm-hmm. you know? And that's his whole thing. He's like, yeah, just play shit that you can use. It's just, Make it easy, make it sound good. And I've been, yeah, really, it's funny that you <laughs> you gave this to me today. I'm like, I have like three of them on my watch list on <laughs> Reverb. I've been watching like three of them from like, some of them from different countries. Some of them have like a mod of a clean blend. I'm like, I have well, that you know, mod the, yeah. in my, yeah, I'm watching that one too. <laughs> and I was like watching these for months and I've just been like finding more and adding them to my watch list because I'm just like oh, one of these I should just buy it. I'll buy it oh shit I should just buy it <laughs> I don't know whatever uh, um, and then yeah you brought this I was really really stoked on it so I already know it's a great pedal that I'm happy to have nice. and I'm like and I'm thinking about it, like we should add this to the baseboard maybe I might add it to mm, you know yeah. my baseboard so when I play with just in case because I really do like the sound of it so totally try it for playing see if it works but I'm like hey, definitely like that, I don't know, driven, fuzzy, kind of like more rounded. It's something about it. There's not even a clean blend on it, but like, and we talked about like, clean blend is important for these drive pedals, uh, for bass. Like, yeah. it just works. Yeah, it just had, a, it was kind of a, it just had a, the, that, or the it factor, the or whatever or something you want. Like it that. just had something about it, you know, something that you could, it's, it, you don't find it in other bass, drive, fuzz pedals. I'm, you could probably put a combination of stuff together, but when we played it at Nam, I don't know what he was running it through. Was he running it through a Marshall head, maybe? I think it was just like a, I believe it was just like a fifteen inch, like Yamaha. Mm, bass. But it sounded so good that yeah, it's still on my radar too. But now I'll need to buy one for myself. Well, it's, it's in the, <laughs> it, it, it's in the the kitty. Yeah, here. it's so it's. That, in, that's, it's the, the pass around all of our like oh yeah. it's my pedal and then Kyle and Johnny you're like it's our pedal oh <laughs> it's that's our right pedal. I do have another what's new but whatever <laughs> yeah yeah go, cut in cut in McFly well so because I'm gonna I, go I really on pedal. for my next one I bought a pedal too nice. yeah uh, that I meant to bring but I want to put a little bit of time into it too it's the 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 Panda Audio Future Impact. Yeah. Which is made by the same guy who did the Deep Impact from okay, Akai yeah, 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 yeah. in the '90s. That is every anybody yeah. who's like a Muse, Chris Wollstenholm fanboy mm-hmm. wants that Deep Impact. I have one. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it for a lot of damn money because people are dumb about them. I'll probably get 600 bu- bucks out of it. Keep your eyes on this space. At yeah. one point, they were like a thousand bucks, which is crazy. But I'll probably sell it for 600. Yeah, yours is in really good condition. Yeah, yeah, it is. Condition, I don't have the original box. I couldn't box. say condition Cond- correct. But yeah. I got the Future Impact, uh, the V V three, the most recent version of it, and I want to get some time in on that, and then it's going to Kyle so he can get because it's a synth pedal, so yeah, he can Brian, really put some time in on it. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, Brian, you don't get it. Yeah, fuck you. Because you just don't get it. Yeah, you don't understand. I don't really. <laughs> yeah, but I just, like synth and stuff like that like I, I, I since I got that like MIDI thing I've not used it for anything but just easy drumming Dang. cause I'm like oh my I can add keys to this little song I'm working on I'm no <laughs> <laughs> and I just like no I can just all I have to do is just open a plugin and try messing with something <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so yes synth is all for you man all right, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah, down so, for it. What do you say? Let's hit some topics. Oh, Brian, just kidding. Oh, I knew. I, like, I got you. I see his face. He's like, <sighs> easy, oh, he was, <laughs> you guys were gonna fight. Easy, cowboy. I just flipped the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just kill me with it. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> like, IKEA. Not your friend. <laughs> Not my IKEA. <laughs> my IKEA. <laughs> I never said that anyways. I was just ready. I was like, I'm going to fucking cut him off. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Well, it was a good one. Uh, it has been move. a long time coming. Yeah. I uh, got my Equits Rayburn. In. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Custom Rayburn from Kevin Equits at Equits Guitars. I uh, am trying to like, you muster up like a better explanation for it, but I'm just going to go for it. It's like, it's fucking sick. <laughs> like good one like, um, yeah, you really like, tried uh, like, I'm like oh, I was like oh I'm gonna try and do it's this tight, like, I was trying to write stuff on, and post it in the group and on Instagram I really dig it and it is really for me for me an experience <laughs> to have me. have a guitar made for you and it fits 
what you want. And I am like looking for things. It's your first custom guitar. Yeah. I'm looking That's for cool. things to like say I don't like about it, but there's. Why would you be looking no, for something? Because I, you know, that's my own uh, mentality and something that we could probably go into a different time. But I'm like, I was like, <laughs> oh, no, like I don't there want was to. like, <laughs> pull up go, the go, couch. You know, going going into it, it's like you th- you, you have maybe like doubts. I'm, I'm yeah, sure yeah. you guys have had doubts and things that you've bought Never. or like you know things that you've done. And to me, I'm like thinking, I'm like, okay, so to go into it, and so uh, Kevin Equits makes a Rayburn model, which is like his like kind of it's like a bolt on style guitar so it's his kind of like almost like a mix of a telly kind of a fender kind of a, like a cornet like in one and his own shape it's like he's making he's doing his own thing and i really like the design i thought it was really cool because he's done different like s- takes on that yeah of adding like you know the bigsby to it adding like the dual humbuckers adding like you know um you know you know gold foils uh a fuzz circuit in there it's like he can do a lot with that design so think of like a telly you can do many different types of tellies as far as pickups and like hardware and stuff like that so talking to kevin uh i think we met at 60 cycles like 200th episode yeah just a few years ago right Mm -hmm. and then talked to him about that and really like dug his stuff and then since then we've talked at different uh one day guitar shows from co at flipping flippers uh, he set that up and talking to him and then like we kind of got the ball rolling to like I I want to buy one. And then I talked to him about like hey, you know, I really like this bridge, the Evertune bridge. You know, I'd take a drink. And um <laughs> <laughs> Is that the, you got a drinking game going yeah. now? And uh, we have dead listeners because yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he's like I'll yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do it. And so that kind of started it off. And so um cuz I don't really cuz I told him like I'm not going to play like I could buy a guitar from you, but I'll never play it. And I don't like having stuff that I'm not going to use. And so yeah. that kind of what started the whole thing off. So we started working on it. And then once we like, as he, I think he says, I don't steal his phrase. I think he says like, I don't know, like it's like kind of like breaking ground. But as far as like guitar goes, he's like, once that started, that was like kind of like the going off point, which was really cool experience. Cause it's like so personal with him. Yeah. Like, um, we've talked about it on the show before, but he likes to listen to a playlist that you make on Spotify while he's making your guitar. And so I curated one of just like pop punk songs, skate punk, random Will Smith songs, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, anime fuck? songs, whatever I like and that I'm into at the moment. I'm like, are, you know, instrumental, like, you know, I, I threw some of the stuff that I was like towards the end that I was like synth stuff that you sent me that I was like throwing on there. I was like nice. doing instrumental prog metal shit and he was just like listening to it and, and you know, like I said, anime music. And he's like, okay, well, this is on my um, s- Saturday at like, you know, 4 a.m. And uh, your guitar's ruined. Here's, he's what, here's what I'm listening to this. And it's. I hate this the, shit. The route I hate slipped. this guitar. It's really cool. <laughs> and he, he's very big on like doing like, he's one guy. Yeah. And the handmade he, process and. He's hand- making it for you. Mm hmm. You know? To all your specs. So, so much went into this as far as like. I kind of picked like the neck size. Like I played like one of his guitars that he had, like that was his like, I don't know, kind of like a showpiece gu- guitar. It's like, yeah. you know, trying to like at, at shows at Nam or whatever. And then I like really comfortable big neck on it. So I'm like, I want that neck. So he's like, okay, I can do that. The body, you know, I wasn't so concerned with, but the color I was, I was concerned with the hardware as far as the Evertune, as far as the pickup in there. I'm like, I want a single humbucker. I want the Gun Street harness. Cause like our boy, Sean, I'm like, I love his shit. It's your boy, Sean. It's your boy, Sean. Wiring shop. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Take another drink, right? <laughs> yeah. Every I mean, time you mention you know, Sean Arbo. And I'm like, I need locking tuners. Like, I want uh, maple, uh, fretboard, and neck on there because, I don't know. Like, I have a thing Why for- Why the fuck not? I have, I have, I don't know. Maple is probably my favorite. I just like the look of it or whatever. So he kind of like went- I syrup a little more. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and then, you know, he kind of went back and forth with design of like, oh, I'm going to yeah. put like, um, you know- you know, black uh, binding on the neck, which I'm like, oh, I didn't really think like, about. I it, didn't yeah. think about that. He's like, I think it would look cooler. Do you mind if I do that? I'm like, yeah, go for it. And then, so we kind of went back and forth on different ideas. There's certain things that I was like, I really dig my heels on. I'm like, has to fucking have ever tune. But as far as the color goes, I was thinking more of like, oh, I already have the pastel pink, kind of like light pink, yeah. shell pink, and then I have like the light blue that you painted for me of my SG, and I was like. Let's do a pastel purple. And he was like, okay, I can do that. So he kind of, you know, mixed up, 
you know, like, you know, just a I don't know, rendering or whatever. He's like, oh, th- I mean, that works. Let's bingo. <laughs> Hit the go button. And he was... Your Easter he, colors are ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, <laughs> he was off to the races for a while and it started coming together pretty quick from a certain point and it was just happening. I'm like, oh shit, this is becoming a thing. And so as I was saying before, I'm like I was like, maybe, you know, choosing this neck and choosing just a single pickup isn't good or whatever. And it got to a point where it was like, no, no, just go for it. Just go for it. It would be a dickhead move to be like, hey, you know, can you actually add another pickup in there? Hey, can you change, you know, I know the you already color? painted that. Yeah, can you? you make the neck, <laughs> can you make the neck thinner? Because like all my guitars for the most part are thin necks. I'm like, well, you know, 60s yeah. or even thinner. And I was like, no, 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 just go for it. Because I like uh, a thicker neck as far as guitar because I'm not doing, yeah, you, you know, do. um, good one. I'm not doing like shreddy <laughs> shit. <laughs> and it's, you know, as far as like your Strat is yeah. probably one of my favorites. And my SG, I really like, but it's a finished neck. Yeah. And so it's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I, and so I was like, okay, whatever. Just sent it and uh, got it in. It's fucking great. It's unfinished neck. It's a great size. It, fit, it sits really well, well balanced. Whereas like my SG I like, but it's like neck heavy. And it's just yeah. kind of like, whoa. And then it's like the body's like, I like it, but it's kind of really too thin. And then my Les Paul, like I'm so used to that guitar, but like the neck is so skinny. And I'm like, okay, really? but you kind of just get used to it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, with this one, I'm like, it's that fat 50s neck. And I'm like, this is, yeah, that's it. Like, you know, you, you know, I think you've said it before playing your, your strat, you don't realize, I'm like, oh, that fatter neck is just comfy. Yeah. You're like, oh, that just sits really well. Cause you and I, are, we're playing chords <laughs> for the most part and yeah. kind of maybe arpeggios, but we're not doing like super fast shreddy shit. Shreddy shit and yeah. so, like, oh, this is cool. And so, my playing style, I'm like, man, this is, that this works. And I was like, oh, cool to get it in. And, like the color, I'm like, wow, oh, that works really well. Like it sits really well. It came to me, not that this is like a selling point because people say, like, oh, I took it out of the box. So I was ready to play. It was literally re- ready to play. That's it was, crazy. It was in tune because of the Evertune. <laughs> because of the Evertune. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it was Someone just like. Someone has alcohol poison. It was just, mm-hmm. yeah. I was like really like taken aback. But I'm like, man, this is actually a thing now because it has been, you know. It's always been an idea. Yeah, you, know, you haven't seen it. You've seen clip, you know, teasers and shit. And he's posted pictures, yeah. sent me that stuff. He did the video, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like super stoked on it. Because it is weird. Because I'm like, this is it. You're here, and I'm like, I have nothing to say about it. And you said a lot, though. You know, or nothing bad to say about oh, it. I should okay. say. Um, <laughs> like, shit, I got what, nothing. What have to I been say listening to? Of like, I'm, I'm kind of running down the specs of it. But as yeah. far as like, you know, like the process and stuff like that. But as far as like negativity, I'm like, there's stuff that I thought that could have gone wrong of like, yeah. not that, you know, me vibing with and just putting up with that. I haven't found that yet. And I think that's really cool. Cause I'm like, I don't know other people. I don't know a guitar custom build experience. Well, it shows that he like really listened to what you wanted. Yeah. And, and, and also you're not a builder, but he knew what you wanted to mm-hmm. by listening to you. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And it was like a lot of, like, I was just scrolling through back and forth of like, I was trying to find, uh, like, uh, I was like, what more specifics of specs? Because I've had uh, Derek from the Tone Control. I was like, what kind of wood is it? What kind of da da da? I'm like, he doesn't sound like that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, um, that's that's my shit, just like Derek impression. He does not sound like that at all. But he's asking me all these questions. I'm like, I actually don't know because I was more concerned about, like, it has to be locking tuners, it has to be Gibson scale length, one pickup, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, so I'm like the wood he you know we kind of went back and forth he may have asked me once or twice I'm like yeah well, whatever and then so that's kind of like a hot potato back and forth of like you know with the builder I'm like oh well this will work with it and so he went with alder body you know uh, maple neck and you know fretboard obviously the Gibson scale length and then 23 frets which I'm like that's what? a lot more Whoa. than I would use <laughs> You can probably cut it at That's 12. That's fancy. <laughs> 12. <laughs> 12 fret guitar. Uh, and then he put like One more octave. of a uh, water base finish. So it's a thinner kind of uh, finish that I'm like, I, we've talked about like uh, the guitars that you finish for me are like Krylon kind of yeah. thing. No sealer. And I'm like, because I'm just going to just gonna go through it and <laughs> yeah. stain it. That pink one is a special like one that you can see all the wear because it just goes right through it. And I think that's cool. And I'm like, yeah, I want, a uh, guitar to do that 
And he's like, okay. So I, he put a, the water base finish that's going to just like wear away of just me like playing on it and stuff like that. And then, uh, so it's a, like the lav, you know, lavender, you know, light purple or whatever yeah. on top. And then there's a secret finish underneath. I think it's lilac. Secret. <laughs> there, he put like <laughs> a, a um, it's a, it's a dual, you know, finished guitar. I don't know what's underneath the purple. Oh, wow. Well, I got some sandpaper here. Yeah. <laughs> no, so like, <laughs> I'll, just naturally happen. I'll figure it out yeah. as I play it. And I think that is something that I should have mentioned that it's earlier. Like a fucking Kinder Egg. Exactly. Yeah, almost, <laughs> yeah it, and I think that's so cool because no I don't chocolate. know what's I don't know what's underneath. Oh, that's really cool. Damn, and so I didn't know that. you'll only find that out by playing it, which I want to. I'm gonna fuck that thing up. Zombie green. That's what I'm, I'm, I, I'm taking uh, bets. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. It'd be a Joker guitar. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I'm a Joker, babe. I got some Joker <laughs> knobs you can have if you want. Yeah. And then I have uh yeah, the righteous sound R A F pickup. So it's like a you know, kind of a his you know, his nice. take on a PAF. So, I don't know. I could have articulated all that a little bit better, but I'm just excited about it. I'm like, I it's here, and I'm like, fuck. You're buzzing I, over there. Yeah, I'm like Ooh. like a little little fly, a little, little bee, busy bee. And yep. it's it's so cool. Buzz, I can't, buzz, buzz. I can't wait. I don't know. I can't wait to play it more. Can't to, you know, to record with it, to do videos, all that stuff. I'm like, I was apprehensive about, because my pink one has been so like my guitar i've been so connected to that and it's like uh fucking throw it away now no no, no like mm-hmm. so as, as <laughs> she, I, I don't know how to like s- i can't think of a better way to describe it it's like sentimental with that guitar because i'm like i love this guitar it's so like represents yeah. you yeah i'm like this is me i love this thing and it's it has never let me down da, da, da. and i'm like oh am i gonna want to let this go to ever play another one and i i have like five guitars which i think is kind of a lot and is especially spen- especially <laughs> since four of them are the exact same configuration now. Yeah. So a uh, single humbucker bridge, one volume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it, uh, if yeah. you did a black and white photo, they'd all look like the same color too. Yeah. Same color tone. Pick them out of a lineup. <laughs> and um, I was like, oh my, you know, if I get this guitar in, da, 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 am I going to feel like guilty about not playing the other one? I don't know. It's, it's all this bullshit in my head. And I got it. I'm like, fuck it. I love this guitar. <laughs> the, the pink one is still cool. And I have uh, plans for that to kind of turn that into like more of a, it's a junior shape and a junior configuration, but with a humbucker, I want to put a humbucker P90 in there to make it its own thing. All right. Nice. But anyways, yeah, I'm like, I, I'm stoked. I'm sure yeah. I'll be talking about it for a long time. And the just ages. Be, yeah. And I just want to play it. I'm just going to like wear the shit out of it. So yeah, to have like a new guitar, I haven't actually bought a guitar since like 2014. Wow. Damn. Yeah, yeah, there's some, I mean. For having a, a guitar podcast, I should be like, yeah, I bought a guitar this week. I, this I bought one a new right, one this I week. I bought and traded to get this. I'm like, no, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't actually bought it. It's not instrument. called the Tone New Guitars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that was so really, stupid. That was really I'm good. I'm dumb. No. But we really come in with the jerk part of it. You know, twice a day, baby. <laughs> Another shit one, Kyle. Like, Jeez. God damn, you guys are let's, fucking shit. I could have thought of a better one. Yeah, let's do the segue into a topic. Kyle, bring it to a topic. <laughs> All right, let's do a topic. All right, next topic. <laughs> so we've been practicing with the you know the band. We got like a live stream or whatever coming up, and uh, some of the ones that we get hung up on as far as songs go are the covers. Yeah, so we I don't know like for us it's like covers are just the hardest ones to do because they're not our songs. We're yeah, trying to find, do like, our own take on a song. With my own songs, if I turn my brain off, I can like play and sing the whole thing without fucking up. Even if it's been months. Yeah. yeah. But then with a cover, it's like, I have to use like 110% of my brain power. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just have to- And, <laughs> and three hands. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean- God, And, and it, it's like a simple cover. It's like, mm-hmm. oh God, I'm like, like in my head, like typewriting like the- the words out. It's like, like a cat with a typewriter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Ste- like steam, smoke coming out of yours. But it, yeah, they are more difficult because you didn't write it. Yeah. Even if you are doing your own take on it, like the structure of it is different. The yeah. riff is different. The chord progression is different, which is like uh, something to be said. And I'm sure we've talked about playing like, you know, covers or being like a tribute band. It's actually could be cool because it gives you something different. Mm-hmm. Where you would normally go, I'm going to this chord progression and doing this melody. I'm like, you are forced to do something else. Yeah. So with that, uh, for me is uh, Berlin Metro. Okay. Is uh, 
That's tough. a good song. It's, That's a great song. I, 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 I will it. No, no, when you play it. No, I, I, we have fun with that one, actually. Uh, it, to me, it's just that main, that riff. And Kyle plays that the whole fucking time. Mm-hmm. And I, like, mm-hmm. the two times <laughs> I had to come back to it, I'm like, I'm super fucking conscious. Uh, uh, which, uh, <laughs> I'm like, ha- like, I'm having an attack. I'm like, oh, what to do? I'm like, afraid to do it. <laughs> Hit a delay. <laughs> <laughs> and do a pentatonic and E. That's the bass line, right? Yes. Yeah, right, right. And then guitar yep. is doing, the, where, where I'm trying to do that same thing with him. Oh, okay, and, okay. Um, Riding on the metro. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And That's a great song. And so, but yeah, Ooh, I I, like to it. me, I'm like, that like little like riff is hard for me to do. And I have to remember and really put a lot of brain power, 110% into that. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah and then Kyle, you're spinning plates yeah mm. kyle's is the the phil collins version yeah of, uh, can't hurry love it, that one i think it's like the vocals i guess yeah because the song the song itself is super easy but the lyrics it's like nothing is the same you if you weren't if you don't write it down you wouldn't know that like they change up every like like ver like every chorus every verse has like something different in it so i'm like trying to make it as original as possible but i'm like I well don't- yeah and obviously i mean obviously the verses are going to be different but then there's parts of like a pre chorus yeah that out of nowhere and then it's like oh the part of that core pre-chorus is now half of that is now a chorus yeah hopefully you does, caught up mm, yeah <laughs> and it, but yeah no it's that's totally but i mean we you know do our you know we do our damnedest for it and i think we I just feel like pretty good. People know that song more, and so people, let's say, people want to sing along to it, and they're like, "Oh, he's singing it wrong." What's like, funny almost is instantly. <laughs> I can't hear that song in my head right now. Why? Mm-hmm. Just the title alone. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Oh, yeah. that's all you yeah, get. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I need love, love. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Duh. So you're covering a cover. Yeah. yeah. It is a cover. Yeah. Of a cover. Okay. Yeah. So Just, that's another that's another good so, version of a song. That's another good one. So those are like you know a couple that we're working on now, and like we have to like you know pay attention to those. I'm like uh, okay, extra attention to yeah, those. I have to like focus so hard. And you know we don't any do... more focus. I'd probably piss my pants. I'm not like, yeah. hold on to my bladder. <laughs> so it, <laughs> oh, it, it, no. it's not it's not it's not too bad. But we were thinking about like I mean adding covers to a song and doing your own version of it is something that I like to do. I think for playing is something that's fun. And so the topic here is maybe like, uh, you know, what are some songs that, you know... Yeah, Johnny, what songs would you play in uh, Playing Without a Pilot? You no, know, <laughs> What songs would I play yeah, in Playing yeah, Without yeah, a yeah, Pilot? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd I was be, ruining them. I would be yeah. covering all of your songs, oh, so... Oh, shit. There you Looking go. meta right do there. Any, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh, your band, uh, Modern Love, you guys do at least one cover, right? Just one, yeah. And what, uh, you know other songs would you want to cover in your band there was what so when we when we were finishing up the first i guess record when we were deciding that we were a band Mm -hmm. rather than just a studio project we thought well we're gonna play live so let's figure out a cover or two and mike the singer brought in he said uh let's do um gosh what is the name of that song goodbye goodbye horses uh, it's, wild horses. Yeah, wild, wild horses. Horse, wild Goodbye horses from. Uh, <laughs> wild stallions. Yeah, you guys. Just wild covered. stallions. Yeah. <laughs> we should cover that. Actually, we should cover that. God gave rock and roll, mm-hmm. which is a Kiss song. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, so Q Lazarus is the band or the woman. Uh, it was in the Silence of the Lambs scene where he's yeah. dancing. Yeah, 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 Buffalo Bill. Uh, we do that one, but I also brought to the table. Uh, Dive by Bauhaus. I don't think you guys would be super familiar with it, but I don't really. Listen to I don't know. I remember a, that was one of those bands in high school. Everyone's like, "They're fucking sick." Yeah, fucking Bauhaus. Bauhaus. Bauhaus this and one, dead. Bauhaus and Blood Brothers. Yeah. Oh, cool. But this particular song, "Dive" from Bauhaus, is not really like all their other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's it's uh, kind of manic. Uh, it's got this saxophone in it that goes weird and wild and crazy and i was figuring that would be great for eric to do to just kind of go off and then i would hold it down with the bass line that is very steady throughout the whole thing uh and and we did it we actually played it without the singer a couple times and played the 
um, Goodbye Horses. But Goodbye Horses ended up being, our version ended up being really, really cool to do and throws everybody off every time but brings and, everybody in. Yeah, because you started off with you and you ended up using know, a bunch of pedals to make your bass sound like yeah. a synth. Yeah, it took it took some some sonic sculpting to figure out how to make. You're mad scientists. We get it. You hours. Know. Well, I just have so many. I have so much gear. You know, I have so many pedals, and I, I humble break. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, no <laughs> man, dude. God, you guys help like me move. Shit. You guys help me move that stuff. God, it's so much of it. It's kind of a pain. We stole it's some a gift too. slash uh, curse. So, uh, I we were we were trying to figure out. It just wasn't quite there yet, and I and and. But really, there is a synth in there. So I was figuring out, well, how can I make my bass? So I went home, did some homework. I ended up pairing a fuzzrocious moth, mm-hmm. which is a, like a fuzz kind of tremolo deal. Really choppy, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I and I and there's a two trim pots on the inside that I tweaked a little bit too. So nobody could actually recreate what I've done unless they knew what I did inside the, the box. Mm. Uh, and then that going into a rainbow machine from Earthwaker Devices. Yeah. Set yeah. to be like a just a chorus. Uh, and right so, in the middle? Right in the middle. And so those two is that song sound. And once I figured that out and I came to the next practice and we played it, we all kind of went, "What? all right, that's it. We got it. And, and uh, made it our own. And we've recorded it. We'll put it out at some point. I don't know the legality on all that, but you know, <laughs> yeah, better to ask forgiveness than permission. Yeah, on that. <laughs> not your parents, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they work that way. No, but, uh, the, yeah, that one's a cool one. Every time you guys bust that out, it's like because yeah. you started off and you're like, okay, it starts off with just like a like a really synthy, you don't really know what you're playing thing, yeah. until the drums like, come in and then on? start yeah. like, everybody. I'm like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. And then everybody's in, and then the vocals start, and people start to recognize it. And anybody who's seen Silence of the Lambs is like, oh my God, it's from yeah, that they, they scene. They start taking their clothes off and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's kind of weird. They tuck and weird. they start dancing around. <laughs> it's a tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. <laughs> oh, shit. But I've been in a tribute, like a cover band, though. And, and uh, man, that's a, you got to learn a lot of stuff. Yeah. But so I feel you on not. It's it's it's, 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 it's different, like kind of like playing it's somebody else's. Oh, another game. Yeah, <laughs> but Kyle, you got other songs you want to add? Like, safely, <laughs> like if Plane could learn more covers. What would you want to do? Yeah, I wrote. I know you're a David Bowie fan. I had yeah, written very much. my little list here before I even knew you were a, a scurrying on down here. <laughs> uh, but I would like to do like Life on Mars would be kind of weird. Oh to do. man, mm-hmm. it's how like, would you guys it, do that? I don't know. It's piano, but you know, I can. That's what, with some of these. It's like that's the limitations. Like, how could you do it as a three piece? Yeah, I could which I'm like, fuck it, still it want to do it though. <laughs> yeah, um, life on Mars, and then uh, and that's another one that I don't know how to do. Ashes to Ashes. I've been listening to that shit all day today. You could do that one much easier than Life yeah. on Mars. You could totally yeah. pull that one off. Ashes to Ashes. It's kind of cool. It's like an extension to like the Major Tom story, mm-hmm. which is yeah always progressing which is kind of cool but yeah um i don't know I, I love david bowie i got one more david bowie i want to yeah well i guess before that you guys like the idea of like covering a song that's not in your genre right yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, you, we, yeah that I actually would, makes it better because it's like be like oh yeah we're a pop punk band we're gonna play just, some blink yeah it's like <laughs> oh sick you guys gonna play exactly the same way yeah exactly right. and, like we want to do something our own thing it's which like, it's well, fun to do that like with your friends and to play it but it's like it does nothing for the crowd. I guess like it, unless, it, unless you're like a tribute band or sing on it stage. fits the show. <laughs> if you're doing like yeah. a pop punk night show, then yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. If you're like a tribute band, like a Blink-182 tribute band, then go for it. Or Van Halen tribute band, fucking go to town. Yeah. Whereas if you're like, you're like oh, we're just like, oh, playing a bar. I'm like, oh, we're going to throw a cover in. Here's like the exact thing, you know, exact same thing as like a uh, first People aren't date. even going to know that yeah. it was a cover. Like, they nice. just won't know. Cool, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> They but, might recognize it, but you know, between sips of beer, they're not gonna. Yeah. Like, oh, it's just a band. But you got you got another David Bowie. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know you're coming, but Modern Love. Actually, I put uh, it on. Yeah. <laughs> that that one, would be a good one to cover too, and you guys could nice talk, you could fun. do it easy. Yeah, too. no, that one's fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not like fast, but it's like more upbeat. You, we would have other ones. You know, bump up the BPM for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, the, you guys could do that. You could you could do ashes to ashes real easy. You could do, I mean, not real easy, but you could do it justice. You could do. I wouldn't be able modern to do love. the bass like the boom 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 while he's singing. Dun 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 dun. Well, yeah. there's a. I mean, I don't know. There's like listening to songs, or like trying to do a cover of a song. I guess like. I think some people get hung up on like doing the exact same thing, like like we like we said before. It's like we would have a drummer be like, "Oh, I don't know how to do the the same thing as that drummer." Like, don't fucking do it then. Just do yeah. do gut do do gut do gut. I'm like, you're good. And like we've done songs before. It's like, oh, there's a bass walking part. I'm like, don't do it. Right? Yeah. yeah just simple. Nobody's simplify gonna be like, it. you forgot that little bass riff. Yeah, unless it's <laughs> like unless it is the iconic part of the song. You yeah. can you can dumb it down. Well, yeah, we're doing Metro, and I'm like, there's a little like walking part of the synth part, and I'm like, fuck, I forgot it. I just started started playing like four notes and just like did the trill with like reverb and delay and chorus, and you're like, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll fill the spot. Yeah, that sounds good. Right Perfectly on fine. The money. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Speaking of Bowie and Bauhaus, they isn't it Bauhaus that does the Ziggy Stardust cover? I don't know. I, I don't so. really know I anything so. about Bauhaus, to be honest. Uh, well, listen to that song, Dive. I'll send it to you. Dive. It's a good. It's a good song. Yeah. It's It it would have been up Modern Love's Alley, and at some point, if we could do it, it'd be great. But uh, uh, it's kind of an underrated, kind of under. So you passed off uh, as yours. Not known. Yeah. yeah, people would probably think think it was <laughs> is ours. Yeah. Yeah, I um. You had a couple, Brian. Yeah, I was. I think I've some of these have like tried to push to the band, and we just like no, no. And I've like learned them. I'm like, dude, this would be sick. And no, it's got a straight Heisman <laughs> from Kyle, and the drummer's like, yeah, no, nah, too. I'm like, what do you think I'm a virtuoso? I can't play that. I fought in your general direction. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, Billy Joel, still rock and roll to me. Okay, it's just super easy. Boop, do, 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 do. It's like they're just chords. We get. I'm like, we totally do that. What's Come on. the matter with the clothes oh, I'm wearing? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's you that can do one, that. The start of the fire one. The yeah. <laughs> Please don't cover that. Uh, Please don't ever cover that. It's so hard to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that one, but yeah. Uh, uh, and then yeah. like uh, you gotta remember all those words. No. There's uh, <laughs> I would think it's so corny, but like it, I, it is like the wedding band cover band. It's Tommy Two Tone. It's the uh, Jenny eight oh. seven six five zero. <laughs> 309 dun, i'm like dun, it's two core dun, dun, it's like dun, i think like yeah. three or four chords that i'm like the same whole, the whole time I'm like dude we can totally do this and kyle's like no it's fucking two wedding band dude we can't do it I'm like people would it. love it people would go ape <laughs> for that shit but yeah. i'm like it's it like really a wedding if we played a wedding i had a buddy who lived like by the Delmar fair and he's like he could hear that song every like, night they'd play it like every night well just Random bands. He's Cover like, band. fucking hate that song. It's, <laughs> it's like a, yeah, it's just like you just lob it in and it'd be like, a, it'd be a banger. So that was one that I was like, always like, I actually learned both of those. But one that I, um, <laughs> yeah. you do it. Wah, wah. No, yeah, fuck. And one, one more that I actually learned that is like, actually, it's just to put the fucking kibosh on that is the wonders, the thing you do. Oh. Always try to push that for the band. It was just always. Mm. We could probably do that one. I'd be down no, for that one. It's always just. Didn't no. Newfound Glory cover that? Yeah, and Green Day. Speaking of a cover, a band who does good covers, who's a pop punk band, Newfound Glory did some pretty good covers. Some. I said some. <laughs> yeah, I said they could some. Do some. And yeah. I'm not like a huge pop punk <laughs> yeah. dude, you know. But uh, you know, I'll give credit. Ew. I do. I do. I do like the like the like the the <laughs> punk goes, whatever. Yeah. Some yeah. of those have bangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, the Ataris, corporate. the Ataris had that one. Oh yeah, that's like the best fucking. That's, yeah, cover. it's uh, yeah. I my I, boys of I, summer. I would say oh it God. might even be better than the original. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. I like the original, that's, but yeah. it's so much better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they, I mean, and that's not. I mean, they might they as well just give it to the Ataris. It's theirs now. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris Rowe. Yeah, yeah. He needs it, but yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, I, I got a couple more, but uh, Johnny, you got one that you want to bring to your band, or if you had a project, it'd be like, hey, like I'll, I'll I want to do a cover of this. I'll build a band around it. I've never no, the, other than that one that I can think of, because I was in a couple bands. I, first of all, I was in. Uh, you guys saw when I had three bands that were the same members, but with two of them had different <laughs> yeah, singers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was Hot Sands, which was me, Chris, and Dave. So bass, guitar, and drums. And we did like from Deadly Birds. Yeah, yeah. from Deadly Birds. Uh, we did like jazz, blues, surf kind of, and we like blew them up, made them like fourteen minutes long. Yeah, and, and it was instrumental. And then we also had with <clears> Jacob 
Underwood from O Town, the boy band O Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he lives here in San Diego. He's a buddy. Uh, we had a, a sort of rock and soul cover tribute thing called uh, the Midnight Frenzy, and we did a bunch of uh, Muddy Waters, and um, we did um, um, a Bob Seger song. <laughs> Hell did, yeah, which uh, one? Turn the page. Fire Down Below. Okay. Yeah, right. it was a good one. No, we didn't do the cheesy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we did a <laughs> lot. too slow, too. And with Hot Sands, we did um, Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix. And, yeah. And with Deadly Birds, we did, um, we did uh, what's that one, the, the, the opening of Eastbound and Down? What's that, um, I forget the name of that uh, song. Gosh. I'm going Down. Going Down. Going yeah, down. We, yeah, yeah. We covered that every single set. We usually did like um, Backdoor Man, but the Doors sort of version. Yeah. And I never knew how to actually play it correctly, so I'd always guess every time we were playing, <laughs> I would just kind of muddle my way through it. So I've done a lot of that stuff, but I mean, if I were to cover, I really do like the classic rock and roll kind of sound. I love the the genesis of rock and roll, like the 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 sort of uh, quasars, like uh, like a Little Richard type. So I love those, but everybody's done those so many times that I okay, whatever. I don't need to do it. I'd love to just play them with people sometime because there's a great. What's cool about those songs is it's a great way to kind of size up other players. Yeah. Because you've heard those songs a million times and you get to hear how the other people treat them. Yeah. Do they treat them with reverence? Do they play all over them? If they play all over them, do they play well? Do they just kind of, you know, lob if it in? open space, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm going to take it all up on the drums. It, yeah, right. Do they, are they a ball hog? Are they, yeah. you know, it's like, so... I really like those proto, those original rock and roll kind of tunes, like, you know, the Little Richard and the Muddy Waters. I mean, the blues bass kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. Those are really fun. And they're they're very simple, very straightforward. So much fun to play. A lot to go off of. Yeah. And once you learn one or two or three, you kind of know them all. Yeah. Because they're typically 12 bar blues, one, four, five, one, two, you know, they're, they're pretty straightforward. Especially on bass, because yeah. I don't have any solos I have to play, or uh, mm-hmm. and they're easy to songs to sing while playing, especially bass. Yeah. Those uh, musicians they forgot about the bassist, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I just mean, just sit there. They were still playing through basically glorified guitar amps yeah. back then. You know, like a Fender bass man. Yeah, you know, it's because it says bass in it. Yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> right. I'm yeah. still confused on that. <laughs> yeah right. those actually some of those whew, sound so good on bass in the studio these days there's one there's one uh well, cause at, you don't need to be super loud right yeah yeah they just have no power they don't have enough power to really accurately convey that bass you need the push but we we have some bass man recordings on on modern love towards the beginning when we first started playing together mm-hmm. oh no and on the rigby figure stuff with tim pre-modern love mm-hmm. that's all through a, a bass man whew, so good Mm-hmm. I'd like to do some Beatles covers. Yeah. I know yeah. We've, we've done some, but I'd like to do like, was it Day in the Life? Yeah. How are you going to do it? I don't know, dude. Yeah. Just me by myself. And I'll just fucking get a new band. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I mean, you adapt it, man. But you don't, I mean, you, they never played that live. Oh. That, that was already at the point where they were no longer playing live. Yeah, damn. So you think about that. You think about some of those songs. You know what is it starting with Rubber Soul? I think I don't from know. Rubber Soul on, they didn't play them live. They were at that point basically just a studio band. But there have they have all had iterations of those songs that they played live with other bands since as solo acts. Most of them. So yeah, yeah. and it, I don't know. It's like bringing it down to a three piece. That's like I think always. With these songs, I'm like, how could we do this? Yeah, you got to watch out for that shit. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, this song doesn't sound like we're playing this song anymore. Misses a piece, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, when it comes to like the really weird chords, I'm like, oh, how can we break this down to like a punk kind of thing? I'm like, can I change all those chord variations that quickly? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You like, could do like super early Beatles stuff and really throw people off. There's that one. Because nobody covers uh, that. Devil in Her Heart. That would be really fun. The, it's like super Motown kind of feeling. Mm hmm. She got the devil in her heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's more surfy, I guess. That was before Motown started covering them. Yeah. They yeah. Put, covered Motown and then Motown covered them. <laughs> what about like uh, more 90s style? 
I think we have agreed upon this one that we've never actually Ooh. like pulled the trigger on. Uh oh, it's a fastball. The way, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's so like they made up their minds <laughs> and they started packing. Yeah, it's like yeah. I'm sure I've heard it. It's probably '96. It was like a jam. Yeah, I know I've heard it. It left before the sun came up that day. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I was like. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we we like we were like oh man that'd be so sick we should just do it and we've never actually pulled the trigger I'm like Kyle you could totally sing that one I was da, like da, 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 knowing the way yeah okay yeah 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 you guys should do that no that would be a good one for you guys to do and it, people, you would bust it out and people would be like what are they oh I know that song all right no okay. people would be into it and be like yeah that's cool I like that. You know how I know people would be into it? I fucking hated the 90s when I lived through the 90s. Yeah. Especially the music, right? Now the, in the 2020, I would love to go back to the 90s. <laughs> I have, I got the, I got the satellite radio, oh, right, yeah, in the yeah. truck. And so I, I, one of my go-to stations, other than Outlaw Country, which is fucking yeah. awesome. <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. No, seriously, man. Outlaw Country is so good. Uh, but one of them is like the '90s, yeah, and and lithium, which is also basically '90s grunge. Yeah. Lithium ethyl, yeah, what's, what's uh, the, some random fucking names on those. And things. the uh, but there's yeah, all those all those songs come up, Maybe. and I never knew who did them or what the name who of the song it? was who done until I it? see it on my on the screen now. But go, yeah. oh, that's who it was. I fucking hated I living. We, that. Should, we should totally pull the trigger on that and just do it. Oh, you guys I, should yeah. do it. That'd be it'd good. Be, it'd be fun. I think we could probably do justice to that one. But you got another one, Kyle? You close it out here. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, a couple of like those lounge kind of style songs, like uh, some from Frank Sinatra. Or, when the moon hits your eyes. No, like "Fly Me to the Moon" <laughs> or something. Or yeah. Or uh, was when it, uh, you smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dean Martin. <laughs> Uh, somewhere there's a someone that one would be fucking oh, sick. Oh yeah, somewhere there's a someone for everyone. Yeah, it's like he's like some really cool yeah. transitional. Like, why would he stop on the note? But it's yeah, fucking a cool. lot of a lot of those like you know kind of crooners. Yeah, and Fuck even yeah. like uh, yeah, was it the was it Las Vegas? <laughs> I, don't know, Wayne Noon. I don't know about Wayne Noon. There's some that are one. really cool. Got, I mean, there's like Don Shane, obviously. Yeah. I'd have Don to like. You'd have to change my voice. Darling, like, Don no. Don <laughs> yeah, because he was young. <laughs> it was Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> um, I guess uh, "Born on the Bayou" would be kind of cool to do. Yeah, yeah. But right. you cannot fucking touch "Fortunate Son." Fuck you. I've no. never played that, dude. I, we we play uh, when we we toured. Uh, I think like two bands on our tour played "Fortunate Son." Why? Like on the West Coast, uh, they yeah. to you know like what? Like that you guys like. You don't know each other, whichever bands you were, but you both of them this? sucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, God, you don't do that one. At first, it's like, what song are you playing? Well, you were saying, like, what, Seeger, there's, like, uh, you know, some songs you couldn't do. Oh, I, I couldn't do any Seeger, because his, his so well, Hollywood so Nights gravelly. would be, that was one that you had mentioned. I'm like, it would I, I it'd be cool to do, but I don't think I can do, do it I, just. I can't do the... Well, <laughs> this is like, here's the problem with trying to do Hollywood Nights, is think about... Especially in the chorus, he's got those women singing behind him, and they really bolster him. Yeah. And it might be weird if you try and do if we couldn't, uh, and we you just don't have piece, yeah. you don't have the voices in the back. It Hollywood might be tough. Nights. Yeah, Hollywood. Hills. Yeah, you'd need you'd need a choir of of uh, some yeah. girls back there doing that. And like, I think the drums are a big part of that song too. Yeah. yeah. Does it like skip? Does it like? I don't even know. I'm not a drummer, right? But it does yeah. that like. Yeah. That kind gallopy. Of gallopy kind of thing, but yeah. Yeah. I guess that's, that's it. Yeah. No fortunate son. Yeah. That's <laughs> we, another topic. That's, we, that's a rule. I think uh, Midnight Frenzy did the CCR version of Grapevine. All right. I think mm. sort of, because it kind of fit the John Fogarty kind of growl yeah. fit with what Jacob could do, uh, you know, Bob Seger and those guys. Like he, we, we kind of gravitated towards that stuff. But uh, a fortunate son, why would you even attempt unless you were a tribute unless band? Unless you're in like a helicopter landing somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like every Vietnam movie has to have that song in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that and uh, Stop Children, What's the <laughs> oh, Sound? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo Springfield. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, w- there's, some good, so there's some good Buffalo Springfield songs you could look at. That's only mm-hmm. one I know, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's only one. Oh, well, no. they really <laughs> only had the one record. Yeah, yeah so... so. Okay, so uh, let's uh, 
do a quick one and then we'll get on out of here. So this is just a <laughs> a topic like it's a would you rather so like you know giving a wink and a nod would to our, our boys over there at guitar knobs but I was thinking uh you know would you rather play a six string bass so it's a, not you could you know five string which is a you know a bigger one than you guys play but also add another string. Oh is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge. So you're playing like a skateboard, and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, or would you rather play one of those uh, four string guitars? Like I think they call they're tenor guitars. What's the tuning mm. on that? I believe it's probably an open tuning. I believe um, you can tune it to which I oh, would. Yeah, not that like oh, there's tuners on it. You can put whatever tuning you, you want. You could. But what's um, the standard? I, I, I've seen uh, I've seen a tuning for those guitars at um, the four string guitar. At uh, just pretty much just take E and A off. So the f- fifth and sixth string, take that away. So Dude, it's I'm gonna running, be D G B E. Yeah, I'm D chords all fucking day on that. Yeah, shit. you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, wow, you're playing. Uh, you're just gonna do uh, ska qu- upstrokes all day. <laughs> yeah. Or the bass is gonna be a low B and a high B, I guess. So what would you uh, like? Okay, that's your instrument, and you're gonna play this in a band in a set, whatever. Pick your scenario. You have to pick one. Something that's going to make it significant to be like, oh, hey, Johnny, I'm going to give you an instrument. Like, cool, I'm going to put that in my garage. Oof. Oof. Like, hey, Johnny, next... Uh, Do I have to go first? Yeah, well, or Kyle, somebody. Ah. I could go and... Well, all right, just... I'd, I'd take the six-string bass. But, you know, when you guys were helping me move, you know, I had that um, you cigar box, yeah. three-string. Yeah. And it sounds really, really yeah, that good. That sounds cool. Uh, I, I told, it was a gift from my mom for Christmas and I tried to tell her, don't buy that for me. I don't want it. I'll never play it. She probably she's, took it as like, no, she, she's playing hard to get. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, but it has such good sound, such good tone. And then she gave it to me and I was like, you're right. Mm-hmm. But it's still, I don't play it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was and right. that's, and that's why I'd go for the six string bass because I probably would begrudgingly play it. You would, I mean, do you, you're not, one more time. Do you have any five string pieces? No. Yeah, you're a four no. string no. guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, I do not. No, 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 no. At the do most, not. you down tune to a D. Yeah, which like with open, one of the bands yeah. I've been playing with, I, I have to do that on the regular. That's our tuning. Yeah. And then uh, we have a friend, uh, Brian at Hardly Human. Uh, he plays a five string bass, but he plays like like your standard, and then he plays a high B. And I'm like, oh, that's, I, that's not common that I see. Yeah. That's cool. I, I like that. Like, I like that. Would idea. that be more useful for like your chords and stuff? I think. Is that well, I mean, neck going to ge- snap on that thing? <laughs> yeah, he's probably <laughs> stepping all over the guitars at that point too, on that high string. But yeah, but, yeah. Know, yeah. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck those guitar players. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Uh, so Not Steve Mike though. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's all right. Oh, uh, all right. But Kyle. the other guy, <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Get him, yeah, to the beat. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. All right, uh, Kyle, what about you? Shit, you got, think, between the six-string bass with a lot of strings or little strings on the tenor guitar? I'd probably do the, the guitar. Yeah? I mean, it sounds kind of dumb because, like, you just have the four strings. Like, any of these guitars, you could just play those only. Right. Yeah. But I'd probably do that because I don't want to taint my collection with the six-string bass. <laughs> yeah. You know, bad apple, you know, oh. spoils a whole bunch, girl. You know what I'm saying? Man. Well, yeah. Both would Are force dumb. you to. <laughs> <laughs> you what can, if. You uh, can play some Alien Ant Farm with a six string. Ow! Wow! What if. Could I. Could I actually take it a step further and make no. it a twelve string bass <laughs> with the with the the little higher tiny little strings? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What well, you, you, gonna... you got a different answer with that then? No, I would just oh. I would, like if we're gonna be absurd. Let's just be <laughs> Was really I being absurd. absurd? <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh, okay. well, I'm over here playing a six string fucking skateboard deck. With either of those, <laughs> Dude, play, it would force <laughs> you to play differently. <laughs> yeah, I think the bass would. Yeah, because like, it's you would, huge. You would have to learn something. I think 
No, I mean, like, you know, I was going to say, like, you'd your have to lats learn. would have to be fucking like strong. Yeah, you'd have to learn to play differently, <laughs> right? Especially with that bigger base. Shrugs neck. going. It's like this. It's like siding on a house, man. It's just like, <laughs> what am I? I just mount this on well, the wall. Yeah, at the dark glass booth, they had five strings, a lot of five strings. Yeah, mostly they five did. Strings. Way and too like, many. I was like playing those. I'm like, it did feel okay to play that like yeah. the extra string I'm like go because I knew my boxes and stuff like that so if you were familiar with your chords and you, what you were doing that wouldn't be too hard and then adding that top one the lower one would be more useful than the top one I would think for I don't yeah. know harder rock stuff I guess but then again to say like hard to him and he uses it so um, I don't know it, like that would be kind of cool for bass I guess because maybe that's not my main instrument I'm like, I would like to play the five string whereas the four string guitar would be like oh I just play the chords without the top two until, you know, yeah. I'd be like, oh, this is the chord I'm playing. Kyle, can you hit those notes? You got it, baby. <laughs> yeah. And he can because he's got his six string bass. Yeah. <laughs> so, because yeah. now it, they see there's the next thing. Yeah. Because you're taking things away. There's two of you. Yeah. And there's a four string guitar and a six string bass. Oh, what, which yeah, one you, of you gets which? No, you would, you would give it, fight to the death we, for it. You just swap everything. So I have to play the four string guitar and Kyle has to play the six string bass. And then we would have to learn. <laughs> Kyle gets more options I get less but you don't have to own the six string so it doesn't taint it. your collection yeah you just have yeah. to use it yeah, yeah you just have to use it don't but, lose it Brian yeah. can own it but no yeah, it was <laughs> just something silly though. and I was it thinking. can taint your friendship <laughs> <laughs> the friendship is over but I'll see you at band practice and at podcast recording yeah but we're not friends because you own a six string bass yeah but anyways a, a silly one that I was thinking about at work but let's get on out of here. What do you say? I'm ready. All right. Thank you for tuning into the Tone Jerks podcast. If you like what you hear, you can follow along on social media. Just uh, at the Tone Jerks on Instagram and then uh, Facebook group. You know, search the Tone Jerks and you'll find us. And, uh, you know, if you like what you hear, you can leave a review on Apple Podcasts. I think it's called. It's not iTunes. Whatever. Um, you know. You know, hopefully five stars, write a review, and we will read it on the air. But if you really like what you hear, you can help support the show on Patreon yeah. for as little as $1 a month. But if you double down for 2 bucks a month, you get an extra episode every week. And you get the backlog, the RSS feed, direct to, you know, to your favorite podcatcher, and you can get all the backlog episodes. There's over 130 of those bad boys. Wow. So How many of them am I on? Uh, were we trying to count earlier? Over 130. <laughs> over 130 of the 130 episodes. So uh, if you really like Johnny, go for it. If you don't right. like Johnny, go, go for, for it. it. <laughs> go for it. Because then you can, I'll give you my personal cell phone number yeah. and you can call me and bitch me out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't even have that. So that, so that that's, cool. that's, that's at the $10 tier. You get the Johnny yeah. cell phone that's number. That's at the $69, <laughs> $69 tier. The $10. I'll yeah. give you my phone number. If we can yeah. chat. If it's 69 you have to wine and dine them. Yeah, so. there you go. Mm -hmm. Just for the support, we just wanted to say thank you and uh, you know, give you a sizable acknowledgement. Yeah. Kyle, you got a list over there? I got it right here. Give it to me. Bam. 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 <laughs> All right, we got Andrew Walsh, Adam Rohr from the Let Him Hear podcast, Doug King, Doug Christ from 37 FX, Abe Newman, Michael Newman, Aaron Taylor, Nicholas Ogburn, Nicholas Payson, Colin Smith, Jason Fuzzmonger, Joe from Like My Pedals, Will and RJ from the Just Surprise Me podcast. We just... We're on that show. Yeah, that is up. We fucking Check kill out it. episode 69. Yeah. 69. Spicy 69. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Romyorn, Jamie Davis, Jim Bowers, Johnny... Let me hold on. I can't look. Ah, oh, fuck him. Who cares? Fuck Skip. that, mother... <laughs> <laughs> Skip it. Johnny Band. Ray. Thanks, Johnny. You're, you're in welcome. person, so we can thank you right oh. here. We don't ever have to read your name when you're on the show. You shouldn't. Yeah. Steve Mike. Steve Rao from 60 Cycle Home. Kevin Equits from Equits Guitars, supplying amazing guitars to Brian Gower. There and you go. I love Many him. others. Co Schneider from the Flippin' Flippers podcast. Brett Alexander. Alvaro Viramontes. Brian from Nutter Guitars. Leon from Pelican Noiseworks. Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. <laughs> Sean Fahey. Sean Arbo from Gun Street Wiring Shop. Sean Wright from Lollygagger Effects. Juan Ortiz from Tone Hungry Effects. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> you should I'm get you a, like, a, a bookmark yeah. so that you make sure like to follow along. 
<laughs> just slide it down. <laughs> yeah. And it has to have like the magnifier bubble on it. Like a Beverly really mm-hmm. Cleary oh, one light. with the... the oh, <laughs> it also has to have the holographic Riding. walking dinosaurs. Like the fish yeah. on it with the holographic... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Look when you spin it. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's what uh, Sean a Lolligager should do. A holographic canalia. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That'd be cool, I guess. Yeah. Chameleon paint. That's what he needs to do. Oh, Fuck. Like those cards. But he stains his. It'd be like, oh, I made this out of wood, but it looks like it's... I think oh. Aaron Abubo from Gearslum posted them. Like, oh, can you make a canal out of bamboo? That'd be sick. Like cutting Anyways. board? Yeah. Right. In, in block or whatever they call that? Anyways, oh yeah, R- names. <laughs> Mike Oxbig. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Hale. Eric Merrill from YouTube. Check him out. Scott Hamilton from the Effects Loop Podcast. We have uh, Tim Nowick from Bardic Audio Devices. All right. And then, All uh, right. That, yeah, that's it. Thank you for supporting thank on you so Patreon. Much. Thanks for listening. And thank you, uh, Johnny, for oh, coming yeah. by hanging I'm out. I'm still here. Thanks, guys. Johnny. You're going to set up a cot. I'll sleep here tonight. Yep. We'll do the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. All right, bye. Bye. bye.